Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, this one is Q&A again, so we've had quite a few questions coming through on the Insta. Yeah, and um, we just also wanted to give a special mention to Half the WA, um, who will link their website in the um, video, but they have added a um, new resource, a new blog, and um, yeah, we just wanted to draw your attention to that. So um, they're doing a, a really good job of keeping everyone up to date of their progress and um, a bit like us helping others on their journeys so um, please give them a follow and a like and have a read of their blog and let us know what you think. So first question is do we have any regrets? Yeah so we covered this off on the Instagram so apologies if you are on the Instagram and have already seen the answer to this but we thought it was important to cover it just in case there's people not following um, is always going to be one of them questions that yeah others ask you or you ask yourself and um, not just now but maybe even in the long term and the short answer for us is no. Um, like I said I wish that kind of sooner now I think. Yeah that's the only regret I mean honestly I don't even know if it would have been possible to do it sooner like it's been such an expensive process um, I don't know it would have been possible to do it earlier but yeah we wish that we had looked into it sooner and maybe it would have been Yeah I think it's just one of those things we never really think about it like we said before we've always thought about going to move to america was one of the goals on it but yeah it's just i guess we're kind of fortunate that it happened now i guess just before i turned 45 so yeah so we're going to enjoy every single second and um yeah we'll keep you up up to date and whether you know there's anything we do regret moving forwards but Right now, we're all having the time of our lives. So, next question. Um, yeah, so the next question is, does it feel safe in Australia? Does it feel different from the UK in that perspective? Yeah, I think it does. Quite a lot of respects, really. Obviously, we still do the whole padlocks on the gates and stuff like that just because we're used to living in the UK. But yeah, I think you can literally leave your stuff like when we go swimming, you can leave your stuff on the side there and you know it's not going to get stolen. Yeah, like we left the GoPro camera in the car yesterday when we had the tyres fitted and there was just for a second a little inkling of, should we have taken that out? And then we were like, nah, it'll be fine. Sure, yeah. Yeah. And obviously it was fine because we're filming now with it, but... Um, I think, yeah, I think it's an old habit to break because obviously we've had years of living in the UK where... You know, things do get nicked quite simply. Even if, like, you leave your car windows open, you wouldn't leave them open on the drive in the UK because someone might walk past you or oh, I see such and such is in your car and they'll be gone. Yeah, and it's not like we even lived in a, like, horrible area in UK. Like, we lived on a nice new housing estate. Unfortunately, the problem with that is that you get pepper-potted with some individuals that aren't so nice and um, honestly I was always a bit in fear wasn't I like that we would get broken into either the house or the garage or the cars or like I'm a warrior anyway but um, that yeah. was always my concern. I think it's taking a little while to adjust over here but yeah I think we definitely feel a lot safer over here. Yeah you can leave the door open and you don't have to worry, um, you can leave things outside your house like you could never do that in UK, you could never leave things outside your house and expect them to still be there the next day if they had any value whatsoever. You don't have to worry about that here. That is funny when the, ins the inspection person came from the real estate I asked them because there's a padlock that's on the gate and it's locked without a key for it. So I can't. Like, oh. She like looked at me funny. It's like, oh, we don't normally have padlocks on the gate, but yeah. So that was a weird one. So yeah, this one's kind of been asked quite a few times now, and it is, how's it going? And we're really grateful that you're really interested <laughs> and um, care enough to ask. And the truth is, everything is going okay. Um, we have had a little setback in the UK um, regarding our mortgage. So 
We're probably gonna do a separate video on that, um, just because it's probably not the right um, place for it in this video. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit annoying and frustrating. Um, yeah, it's kind of tied us back a little bit here on it. Yeah, yeah, but um, apart from that, and apart from being ill, we're all doing great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's amazing here. There's like so much more to explore yet. We've literally not even left Brisbane yet. Obviously got all the other states and cities to explore and even more beaches. There's loads of little beaches hidden away. Yeah, and I was thinking this morning about all the great things the kids have achieved since they came here. Like when we came on our recce trip, we um, we tried to put the youngest in like a trial for netball and um, she didn't really have the confidence. She was too scared. She didn't want to do it. And then fast forward, like, what, a year, two years later? Well, you've only been here most of years, properly, isn't it? But then the recce trip was probably a year before that. Yeah. So, um, and now she's got like a trophy sitting on the side from her hard work and commitment with her netball team and getting to second place with her team where she's been playing all season, and that's a massive achievement. Oh yeah, that's a big, big step for her, yeah, compared to what she used to be like. Yeah, and then we look at our eldest as well, you know, just passing her driving test here. She's just um, completed a coaching course here. You know, coming here and not going into normal education hasn't stopped her from achieving things. She's still working hard, earning money, paying her own way, paying her taxes. Like, I am proud. Oh yeah, definitely. There's so much more opportunity for them both here. Yeah. You wouldn't have that opportunity, I don't think, as easy. In England, you'd have to it'd be miles away from where you live, whereas here there's loads of places they can do things. So yeah, it's really good. Obviously, she drove herself pretty much into the city yesterday. So we're a bit worried about that to start with, aren't we? But yeah, yeah, no, she she smashed that. She, like I said, did her coaching course. So she's on the way to becoming a football coach. Yeah. So um, yeah, in terms of how we're doing as a family, we're doing really well. So the next question was, how is our PR application going? Yeah. So it's another how's it going question, but yeah, this one's the visa one. Um, so it's been lodged so basically all the paperwork is in um, all we've got to do now is we've added the australian police checks they've come back we've just had notification that the uk ones are now done but we're now just waiting for the certificates to come through the post they won't do them digitally unlike the australian one we'll do it digitally good old england so we've had to wait up to 20 days i think it's been for the english one and almost double the price for the same service. Anyway, apart from that. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, we're just waiting for those to be delivered. We can then send them off to the visa agent. You can then upload it to our case file. We've got medicals booked for two weeks time, I believe. So we've got to go into the city and do all that. And then once that's all done, I think we just then wait for it to be accepted. She did say that, um, that the turnaround at the moment has been fairly quick so not on the website it does set for 16 months but she's had cases on the same kind of uh, route that's been probably two months yeah i think um hopefully it's all in our favor because one we're onshore yeah and i think they're pri prioritizing onshore applications and two because obviously your profession and trade it's obviously on the skill shortage so again hopefully that makes us a priority yeah so that's that's all we're waiting for really is the health checks i think and that they should pretty much all be done together fingers crossed and then yeah it won't be that much longer so fingers crossed pr will be granted then probably a couple of months hopefully maybe by christmas be a nice Christmas present, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be lovely. So, um, yeah, we're just waiting for that because I feel like everything's a little bit on hold until we get that. Although we know it's a guaranteed pathway to permanent residency, yeah. there's still that little thing <laughs> that, you know, until you get it is not guaranteed. So, um, yeah, I feel like we can really start to make longer term plans once we've got that. 
and obviously one of them longer term plans is selling our house um, so that we can have a bit more money to ourselves here to be able to do more things and ultimately to buy something here. Yeah, I think that'll make us feel a bit more settled as so you've still got the thought in your mind when it comes to renewing our lease here. Are they going to be stupid? Are they going to put the price up ridiculously? Are we going to have to move again? It'd just be nice to have your own house and you've got, you can then start cutting your roots down, not that type of route. So our last one has been about our four-legged friend. I think sometimes she's more popular than we are. <laughs> yeah, she definitely likes to get in on the videos. <laughs> so we'll just show you what she gets up to normally in the morning. She's done it so often that she's now worn a track in the length of the fence line where she goes and plays with her little lizard friends that live in the hedge. <laughs> she would happily do that all day long. Yeah, but it's not too hot for her. She's got a nice little bit of shade there and it literally just keeps her amused. Yeah. Flowers, she's happy. She unfortunately never catches them, um, but she just loves to play with them. I think that's the idea. She doesn't really want to catch them. She just <laughs> likes to chase them. I don't think she'd know what to do with one if she actually found one, but um, yeah. yeah. We're talking about you. She's very happy and um, yeah, she's also loving life here. Yeah, that's obviously she's recovered from the ordeal that was two massive long flights and the last flight coming up from Melbourne. Yeah, she's she's definitely settled down, isn't she? Yeah, actually that reminds me, we did have a question on um, how long it takes to import your dog. Um, so I completely forgot about that, but we can link uh, the video that we recorded um one of our earlier videos about how to import your dog and the basic answer to that is it took us about eight months so um they have to have lots of different checks lots of vaccinations um and yeah your dog literally can't enter australia until everything's done and it's very time restrictive yeah. Um, we definitely, if you're looking for someone to use, recommend Lady Hay International. Um, we had a lady called Bex who was su superb, um, and yeah, we would definitely recommend them. Yeah, like you said, we'll link the, the other video to that one, but yeah, we hope that yours isn't as eventful as ours was the last week or so, is it? That was horrendous. Obviously, I was over here, you were back in the UK. They lost a blood sample or something like I the can't most critical what it blood was. sample like the last one that you needed yeah. to check in they yeah. lost it yeah we had to send a courier to the lab same day like it was a nightmare yeah, it had to be done on that day so like literally had to drive so, like two hours there to drive up to deliver it or whatever yeah i'd forgotten about that pain yeah yeah <laughs> so yeah watch that video if you're interested but yeah um doggy she's settled she loves it here she loves what she likes going to the beach, I'd say. She likes barking at other dogs. <laughs> yeah, she um, wants everyone to play, and then when they want to play with her, she's not interested, so... Yeah. Funny girl. <laughs> so, if you're already subscribed, thank you for subscribing. If you're not, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and let us know in the comments if you've got any further questions that you'd like us to answer. Um, we're always happy to help. See you in the next one. Bye -bye.